Hi, and welcome back to another tutorial by IT Conflict, Computer Repair and IT Services in Austin, Texas. My name is Eric, and today's tutorial will be on a Portage R705. I will put the model of the system in the description of this video. But today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to make one of the simplest upgrades on any laptop. And really, what you're doing is you're going to be speeding up the system, but also it's going to allow you to multitask more. It's going to give you more usable RAM, which in any laptop makes sense to do. It's an easy upgrade. It's not so costly, and, and, and the best part is you can do it yourself. So, without further ado, let's get this done. Um, again, this is the Portage R705. Here's the laptop here, just to give you guys an idea of what it looks like. Now, before you work on any laptop, you want to make sure, I always talk about this in our other videos, is remove any power source to the laptop. You don't want to hurt yourself or the, um, the, the components or the laptop. Um, in this case, I've removed the battery, and the way I did that was just by, let me slide it sort of back here in place so you guys can see how you, to do that. You want to put the battery in its unlock position right here. Then once it's in the unlocked position, slide this lever, this switch over to the unlocked position as well, and just gently pull it out. Very simple. And I say gently because replacing these little ports is, uh, this little plug here is just insane. It, it, it's very difficult. So gently remove the laptop, the battery, and there you go. Also, um, you want to make sure it's not plugged into anything. In this case, I have removed all power to the system. You can also get rid of any juice that's left in the system by pressing and holding the power button here for about, eh, well, 10, 15 seconds. You don't have to take too long with it. Okay, so we're ready to perform the upgrade on the laptop. Now, what you want to do is first you want to have your upgrade RAM. And the, what I do is I typically just go to crucial.com. I type in the make and model of the system, and Crucial will tell me this particular system uh, has a an upgrade max of 8 gigs, 16 gigs, 12 gigs, whatever it is. And it will even recommend what RAM to purchase for it. Of course, it's probably going to be a Crucial recommendation, but it's not. They, they make great RAM, and it's just it's the process of making it simple is really what you want. Once you find out the, ma the model and how much RAM you can add into the system, you want to make sure that your system supports the RAM. So uh, if you're doing like anything above 4 gigs, you want to make sure that you're on a 64-bit operating system. And the way you can do that is just by turning your computer on, go to Start, uh, Control Panel, and then System, and you'll see whether you're on a 32-bit or 64-bit OS. If you're on a 64-bit OS, I believe for this particular laptop, you can go up to 8 gigs of RAM. And it's sold with 4 gigs, so this you're talking about a, uh, a you know doubling the amount of RAM that you currently have in the system, which is obviously going to be a huge improvement. So, uh, once you have your RAM, you are ready to install the RAM. I'm going to show you in this video how to remove the RAM. So, the RAM modules they are located just underneath this one plate. It is very simple. You want to get a Phillips screwdriver with a bit that fits the screws. You don't want to chop away at the screws. Very gently just unscrew screws one and two. This is going to be the easiest upgrade you have ever done on any laptop. And hopefully we've saved you some money not going into a computer repair shop that obviously you're going to pay some labor on. It might be good sometimes to take it into a, a computer repair shop because you want to do the complete uh, diagnostic of the system. You want to do the cleaning. But in this case, if you are simply just want to do the upgrade, I'd say, you know, don't, don't, uh, if you feel comfortable, go ahead and do it. If you don't, take it to a professional. So I've removed screws one and two. Here's the plate. I'm going to just put that aside there. And you see we have RAM modules, uh, DIM A, DIM B, or, or 1 and 2, whatever you want to call them. Um, I'm not going to get too complicated or technical with this. I'm going to say RAM modules 1 and 2. Okay. And the way we remove these is there's a lever on each side of the RAM. And that's what's kind of holding it in place. So you want to 
pull the lever outwards. I have these chubby fingers, so I'm sorry. I'm having a little trouble doing this. Um, and once you pull it outwards, you will see the RAM pop up. Now, once the RAM is has been released from its original position, you want to just gently move the RAM out. Very simple, guys. The RAM that's currently installed in this system is 4 gigs. The RAM type is PC3 8500S for SAM. So P as in Peter, C as in Charlie, 38500S as in SAM. And this is a 2 gig stick I'm removing from the uh, from the computer at Samsung RAM. I'm going to just go ahead and put that aside. We will now remove RAM module number 2 in this case. Same thing we're going to do here is gently just pull out those levers outwards. The RAM will pop up, then just very carefully remove the RAM from its place. Again, very simple, guys. So we're going to pretend here for a second. We're going to pretend that I have new RAM. I have 8 gig sticks. These are two 4 gig sticks right here, and we're ready to install the RAM. Excellent. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my RAM stick. I'm going to carefully line up the notch here with the notch on the RAM module. It's going to slide into place just like so. And I'm only going to do this. It's very easy. You're going to hear out, you're going to listen for a click, and that's when you know that it's in place. There it is. If you can hear that on the video, it's a very, you'll feel it lock in a place when you also hear that click. Same thing, taking my second RAM stick. I'm going to line up the module. I'm sorry, I'm going to line up the uh, the notches here. Place the RAM stick in the RAM module. And just listen out for that click. There it is. Very simple again. So, we have now successfully um, upgraded the RAM on our computer. So, all we want to do now at this point is put our RAM plate back in place. Whoop screw in these two screws and we're done. I mean this upgrade, if you're going from 4 gigs to 8 gigs, I believe on this system you're not looking at a lot of money. You're probably looking at anywhere from 30 to $50 on, on, on the RAM itself on the part and then 10-15 minutes of your time to carefully do this. If you feel comfortable doing it, go right ahead. Um, when you turn your computer back on, you may be notified the amount of RAM has changed in the system. Just click to continue or press enter to continue or whatever it tells you, and you are good to go. If you guys have any questions or concerns, please leave them in the comment section of youtube.com forward slash IT Conflict. We're also on the web. Check out our website at www.itconflict.com. Um, come by. We're on Facebook. Come by, say hi, leave us a message on there. We provide free support to anybody that likes or friends or follows us on Facebook. That is facebook.com forward slash IT conflict. Again, guys, it's my pleasure. I'm always very happy to show you a new tutorial on here. Um, I appreciate you subscribing and watching our videos. Uh, again, this is Eric with IT Conflict. Thanks for watching.